Howdy y'all, it's TJ Marquis and this is The Pulp Review. I cover trad and indie books that are good for your mental health and I only review stuff I like. No score, just recommendations and a spoiler-free rundown of the good stuff. You ready? Let's rock! The Long Moonlight by Razorfist The blurb Manuvia, a sparkling gem made rough stone, the seat of political power in the Kingdom of Vale. Revolt foments among the patrician class, an open gang war looms on the horizon. As the Argentine Tower plots revolution, a lone thief with a past as dark as Manuvia itself picks the wrong lock and opens the wrong door. Shadows still cast in the dark of night, underneath the long moonlight. That esteemable example of eloquence, Razorfist himself authors a fast-paced pulp pastiche with more alliteration and assonance than Battletech swag in the author's camera frame. Look, if you want slinking, intrigue, violence, and vocabulary, this is the dark fantasy but mostly grounded story for you. Thief with a code of honor? Check. Detective savant digging up corruption? Check. A sexy love interest? Check. Mysterious magical elements? Check. Ribbons of flesh stabbings and raging fires? Flippin' check. The core plot is simple but solid. Our honorable thief stumbles on ill deeds well above his pay grade. He should just turn away and make good with the loot, but something holds him back, leading to a cascade of confrontations that puts him in league with scum he might rather not be involved with. As Zerdi's passions get the better of him, the noble detective Coggins picks up the trail, putting pressure on more of the parties involved than one might realize at first. From here, it's a light layer of cat and mouse, solidifying new connections, musing over long-term plans, creeping, slinking, thieving, and confronting the devastating event that triggers the titular long moonlight. Zerdi's is relatively simple and aloof. It's nice to be over his shoulder and experience a master of thiefcraft doing his thing. Razorfist's influence from the Thief game series and other stealth simulators show through, but the setups and actions stay as grounded as any other gritty fantasy, avoiding any potential sense of this being gamelit. Xerdes really shines, however, when he's a creeping shade in the shadows, a barely felt presence, a horror to haunt those who know they've got it coming, a la legendary pulp character, The Shadow. Coggins, the upstanding detective, is the next biggest standout. It's nice to set the one noble cop in a department ridden with corruption against the one noble thief who thinks he can ride the line between civilization and monsterdom. I could even see Coggins carrying a story of his own, tight on his perspective, with Xerdes flitting through the shadows. And that brings us back to the thief himself. Razorfist's pulp debut is at its best when framing Xerdes as a deadly wraith in total control of the situation. Removed from the thief's shoulder, we could imagine him going toe-to-toe -to -toe on a job versus the shadow himself or his progeny, Batman. Xerdes comes off successfully more human when the POV is on him, and while this is done well, the horror assassin vibe pleased me the most. Razorfist's prose is more solid than the majority of other debut authors you'll find out there, and the book on the whole is decently edited. The illustrations nicely break up the visual presentation and help set the vibe of the piece. What I did expect was to get more of Razor's famous and well-honed scriptwriter voice. I was interested to see how he'd tackle this, since writing 40,000 words in full-on rant mode would be quite a feat. Instead, the typical Razor cadence and delivery is generally dialed back, surfacing for a moment here or there. The book overall favors a classic pulpy voicing, with the primary razorisms being frequent uses of the aforementioned alliteration. All in all, The Long Moonlight is a solid debut from a natural talent, sure to please his fans who probably already own it, but also a good bet for rough-riding, purple-prose-loving, lightly-enchanted noir fanatics with a penchant for pulp and boots-on-the-roof reluctant vigilantism. Hey, I've got books too! Check out my heavy metal fantasy adventure, Heroes Metal. A young spellsword falls in with a band of living legends and warns them of an attack from the Hollow Earth. The surface kingdoms brace themselves to fight an ancient threat from deep within their planet. Grab the first two books today, the third one, Fear the Four Towers, is coming soon. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, like the video if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't like it, well, I'm TJ. God bless and speed.